That too massive brim. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Tap Fishing in the Dark. Early morning, the sun's just about to come up. It's absolutely freezing this morning. It must be about, I think it's about four degrees. So uh, land base today. Uh, we're up in uh, Canada base. I looked the last few videos ago, um, trying to map out the uh, Parramatta River. So couldn't be bothered, it's too cold to put the kayak on. So I've um, land basing for a very long time, it's been a while. I lost my mojo, I think. I'm not sure if you can see me. A bit of a street light here. Yeah, so um, put it up on the map now. Canada Bay, it's pretty easy to find. It's a large land-based area. Okay, it is um, probably better at high tide because it is pretty shallow, mud, sandy flats along here. So hit the high tide, probably preferably in the afternoon or morning, early morning like we are now. So this is another section, volume three, of uh, mapping out Parramatta River. And... Uh, Hopefully as you get a few trevallies up in here now this time, but I haven't seen any jelly prawns yet. So waiting for that sun to come up. As it's just starting to peak out now, all right, car goes past um, and see what happens. Maybe a little bit of surface action, we'll see what happens. All right, I've already had a hit, but I dropped it. So I think it's a flatty um, and we'll go from there. All right, so uh, stay tuned and uh, hit that music. So we're just going to start up the end here, near the mangroves, the little creek on the side here and make our way down around, past my car, down to the end and then maybe we've got time, we're going out of the side there, the bay I fish with the kids over there, the fishing uh, land base spot but uh, there's not much action on the water, it is winter so I expect a little bit more activity but now's a good time that you can see it because the water's glassy uh, mind the car car goes past very busy this road all right so um it's beautiful it's beautiful look at that the orange and the blue sunrise so that's the plan not much happening though look at the boil up over here on the surface it's really shallow here, normally during low tide, so it's only only high tide I would, I'd say to uh, fish this spot. Right, it's very shallow. And the tide is coming in. The tide's the thing about 6.30, so another half an hour. The tide will be at its peak, and it should be running out. So, I'll pick up the, the, the start of the uh, tide going out for about an hour. So I've got one hit in the dark, I didn't film it because it's, it was too quick. But um, yeah, winter, if the, if the jelly prawns are up here, which I don't see any, um, there'd be a trevally chasing them, usually in the mornings. Trevally and brim, you get the odd flatted around here. Just using the uh, Daiwa Bait Junkie Swim Swim in the motor oil colour at the moment. I'm tempted to uh, switch to a, a soft vibe, just get a bit of action moving the water. I'm just going to give this spot a little bit of a go. I got the rods in the car, so it's easy access with the car. You can park the car on the side, and you can drive up if you're lazy enough to walk. You can drive anywhere and fish the edges. So, so you can see, look, 
school of Ling and Salmon. I'm gonna try to change out maybe a surface lure. Maybe surface or a spinner. I don't think I've got any spinners on me, but we'll have a look. They're definitely feeding up in here, you can see them. Never caught a salmon on a soft vibe before. It's got jelly paunch has popped up. There's big swirls here right in front of us. Big swirls. Should have MMD prawn on. So I'm gonna take so I've got a gulp on at the moment. Sorry about the sun. So it just comes to the other side of the bay now. Just, I couldn't get those, those salmon to bite on anything. There's a mullet. I think it's like a little mullet. Schooled up here, getting chased by something. On the surface, just pulled up, run from a car. Looks like a little potty mullet. Definitely something chasing him. I'm not sure if it's salmon. Trying the MMD prawn now. You just see in front of me there. Not used to this land base fishing. It's a bit harder than a kayak. It's one one hit. Fish on, on the bottom, I think it's a flatty. First fish, wasn't doing anything, it's a flatty, it's gotta be a flathead. Ooh, it's a decent flathead too, oof. I'm gonna get him up. It'd be hard to get him up, four pound line. It's gonna be heavy, a bit heavy. A bit green. MMD prawn again. I've got no net, so it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, good lift. There we go. First fish, MMD prawn. He's in the 40s, it's a good size. Good day, yes, enjoy the walk. Nice little flat. Sorry, talk to the locals. He's here. I got a photo of him. He must be the one chasing the bait. Alright, we'll get him back. Off he goes, nice and simple. MMD prawn. So 
themselves the paws. Definitely the paws. It's good bait fish around. Still heaps of mullet here. This is where I bring the kids, so. Nice healthy brim would be nice. Oh, there's a snag. See it. Chasers. See if we can get into that mix. Slow roll. Let's try a slow roll. Whatever's chasing him, see if we can get him. sink I think I picked a good spot. I mean, the water's here. My car's just there. So, can't go wrong. Fish are just here. Still in lifts, keep it on the bottom. Let it pause a little bit. That's what happened to that flat I just let it sit for a little bit. Fairly murky actually. And do. Let's see if we can cast right here. Right a bit further. I might be getting freaked out by me a little bit. So the sun hasn't hit this area yet. It's still wind, the trees. It's definitely activity in the water, see that? Oh, hit. Oh, we're on. We're on again. Ooh, something decent. Something decent. Something really decent. I think it's a flathead again. I should have brought the net. Nah, I think it's a Trevor or a Brim. We are, oh, big Brim, big Brim, big Brim. Here, look at him, it's a big Brim. I'm not sure if I can lift him up actually. See if I can walk him over. Couldn't run the mouth on the MMD. I'm gonna walk him up to the stairs if I can. Massive brim. Got it. I think I caught him good. It's 
set of stairs down here. Look at him. In case I lose him, he'll be uh, mid 30s. Walk him down through the trees. Going for a walk. It's like walking a dog. Sorry, fish. Sorry, bud. Gotta drag you down like this. Climb the stairs now. No net, no net, that's a fish, that's a brim, had to walk the poor fella through the trees, here we go, look at that, that's a, and it pops out, just came out, look at that for a fish, yeah, not sure how big he is, but he's a fairly decent size, well um, all right, so he's bottom of the rod to that gold bit. I'll measure him up. He's a good size. Look at that. Yeah, the boys. Huh? His teeth are all gone, so he must be smashing the thing. He's just, he's just weighing now. Thank you, buddy. Huh? Thank you very much. We'll get some photos. Beautiful brim. Must be chasing the mullet. Get a fish picture of him. Get him released. Yeah, it's heaps of my oh, bud, off you go. Off he goes. Beautiful. That turns into a good sesh now. Here's the grass. Still a bit of activity. Should have just tried the MMD straight away. Why try other lures for when you have an MMD here? He was on the bottom too. Let's go again. I seen a couple of when I was pulling him in. I actually pulled. I uh, see a couple of flashes in the water. So there's definitely uh, something silver. Could be another brim, more brim. Chasing the mullet. Fish on. Been pretty quiet. I think it's another brim. This size brim. The same, walk him over towards the stairs, I think. Head shakes. Yeah, I think it's another decent brim. Yep. Not happy. Not as big as the last one. Good size, but no, he's a decent size. I'm gonna walk him over again. I wanna lift him up. Just walk him. Walk him over, walking the dog again. Underneath, underneath, come on. Almost there, almost there, dude. Almost there, almost there. It's too decent for him, I just got him too, eh? He's fat. Oh, he's big. He's massive. I think he's bigger than the last. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that, two massive brim. 
to a massive brim huge brim i'm not sure if it's the same brim maybe but he's bigger i think he's bigger than last he's got to be bigger than last it's got to be bigger than last it's massive Donk of a brim. Just, oh, I'm telling you, just lipped. He's way bigger. Look how fat he is. Hang on, but hang on, dude. Hang on, dude. His belly's full. Look at that. I'll show you. Let's measure him off the stick again. You know what? He's bigger. It's a different fish. He's actually to that tip of the rod there look at that stonk absolute stonker all right i'll get some photos wow you don't get better than that in the morning on a winter's morning all right I'll take some photos settle down what a brim all right bud Really get him back. Thank you. Yep, off he goes. Off he goes. So that's going to end another edition of Taff Fishing. Land based. Oh, it's been a long, long while since I land based. Um, just in the car now it's freaking still cold. Fish are busting up. I uh, just met a bloke called Reno, he kind of knows the area, he reckons it's um, maybe frigate mackerel up in here, so eating all the mullet and the uh, jelly prawns, not actual salmon, so he reckons they're moving too quick to be uh, salmon, so um, that's, a, that's a different thought, so yeah, so successful, second spot, so Canada Bay, we're in now, okay, I'll give you the spot, um, the other side then of the golf course, not much luck there or at all. It's got one hit and a drop. So pulled up to this spot where I fished with the kids, the family days out. You might have seen the videos. And uh, scored some decent sized brim. I'll put the uh, sizes up. I'm sure they were close to 40. And then uh, flatty. It was about 50 centimeter flatted. So very good sesh. All right. And uh, it's head, head off home time with the fans. All right. And that's it. So remember, be good, be kind, be safe. Hit that thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. See you later. Bye.